There you go. Home run. Tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. Better. Okay. You'll feel a little tap right there. Here on the sternum and the ribs where they meet the sternum. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors with some new additions. Also, all of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Gregory Johnson. Now last time you got your adjustment was the very first time you'd ever had chiropractic care, right? Yes. Yeah, and did I do a thorough history and exam on you? You did. Yeah. Okay. That's a really important part of, about treating patients. Mm -hmm. There you go. Home run. I don't have to ask if you felt mm -hmm. that all the time. <laughs> there you go. Just keep breathing. Let me have you. Okay, let me do it. If you try to help me, it's going to hurt. Tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. Better. Okay. It's easier said than done, huh? Let go. But a very important part about diagnosing patients and formulating the appropriate treatment protocol. Now see her right leg is short by about a quarter of an inch today. It was a half an inch the other day. And it gets even when I bring it up. That probably tightened up a little bit on that right side. Right SI joints out. That's called a positive knockless and gear field test. So I'm going to start adjusting her right SI first. Which is where you've been having that compensatory pain, right? Then the sacrum on the right. The sacrum in the center. SI joint on the left. Now I'm going to drop this piece out here and I'm going to be adjusting L5 straight P to A in the Z axis. Okay, keep breathing. That a girl. Mm -hmm. There we go. There you go. Down here at C5-6. See, I'm restoring the cervical curve. Now I'm down on T1 to put her whole head back up over her thoracic spine. Let's go in here. There you go. So see, I'm not adjusting her cheekbones. I'm actually using these as uh, levers to bring her whole head up and back in the Z-axis and I'm rotating on the X-axis to get her ears and for now, if you can get a side shot here, you can see her ears now are in line with her shoulders and even a little behind that. Perfect. Good. So now I'm adjusting her AC joints on both sides, her sternoclavicular joints on both sides, and then her costosternal joints up here on the sternum and the ribs where they meet the sternum because her mid thoracic So that's a vertebral, costo-vertebral subluxation. You can rest your hands on your tummy. Yeah. There we go. Now you should have felt that from your ankle all the way up to your pelvis. Pulled your shoe off even. <laughs> that a girl. Good. Feel that one up there too? Yes. Got a nice cold front coming through Houston right now. It was down at 57 here this morning. I know that's not cold for a lot of you watching. <laughs> but it's cold for us Houstonians. All the women are wearing their winter coats in this morning. <laughs> you didn't though. No. Good. I'm okay with it. Yeah, me too. Now see, you should feel your head held up a little higher already. I do. Good. This feels a lot looser too. Yep. There we go. Crack guy's gonna love you. That's cavitation addicts. That's the cracking noise you hear when you get an adjustment. I'm not calling you a crack guy. Standing on the here. All right. And your head forward and backwards again for me, please. Now that should have felt a little smoother already. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to neutral. Okay, see her ear is now right here over her clavicle rather than being in front of it. So we're moving it back about half an inch. But this is how we're going to get it back even more. And this is the exercise that tissues three times a day. Lift your shoulders straight up. Simultaneously pull them backwards. 
glue these way back like this, palms facing forward. See how that tightens up that whole trap? Mm -hmm. Okay, now your head's a little forward and to the right. See, so we want to bring it straight back in the z-axis. Okay. And then to the left on the x-axis. Mm -hmm. And then look back at the wall behind you on the x-axis. You know, feel a little tap right there. And there. Now, when you do that again, Jennifer, tell me if this feels even smoother than the previous one did. Smooth as silk. Yeah. Back to neutral. Mm -hmm. Okay, her ear's still over her clavicle here, so she needs to really do those exercises 45 times a day, 15 in the morning, 15 around lunch, and 15 in the afternoon or early evening. And then uh, extension is your friend, flexion is your enemy, okay. and everything. Now his right leg's three quarters of an inch shorter than his left leg in that prone position. I bring it up and it gets even, that tightens up in his low back and pelvis, doesn't it, Constantine? Yes, it does. I'm gonna start off adjusting his right uh, SI joint. In his sacrum on the right, sacrum in the center, sacrum on the L2 I to S P to A. Now, thoracic, take deep breath for me. There you go. You're gonna feel a little deeper in person today. <laughs> yeah, it does. Wow. That much distortion. Right. See if this one tightens up as much as that first one did. It it's uh, it doesn't actually. Does not? Yep, it's looser. Okay, good. Yep. And you'll feel your head popping up next. Alright. Yep. Good. Okay, let's turn you on your back, please, sir. That's it. That's it. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's been pretty hot here in Houston lately. Oh, Today's yeah. cool, but it was pleasant last night. Mm-hmm. Got in the hundreds here last week. Oh, wow. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's see with that scoliosis, let's see how far your ribs misaligned. It's mm -hmm. about an inch lower on this right side here. I'm going to adjust this up. Yep. Let this leg go limp because I'm going to adjust this hip joint right now. There we go. You should have felt that from oh, your yeah. knee all the way up in your I pelvis. I did. I've been waiting for that. Okay. <laughs> Same here, breathe, relax. There we go. <laughs> Feel that one up there? Oh yeah, that's, so, that was great. Let's sit you up, face that way, please, sir. Yep. So on this one, I'm gonna adjust your entire spine on the okay. y-axis, but here, head up this way. Come down this way just a little bit more. There you go. Let your legs relax, the table's gonna lift them up. His feet's hang, hitting it. Huh? There it goes. No, I just hit the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> there you go. These pins are going to be really tight, constantly, and they're supposed to be. Okay. There we go. All right. Locked and loaded. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> so you don't want to talk or bite your tongue on this one. Nice deep breath through your nose. Exhale. Ooh, that left ear. That's it. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> you felt that all the way down your spine, did you? I did. Cool. <laughs> okay, let me have this. Let go. There you go. Mm. That's it. <laughs> that was everything I thought it would be. A crack at its dream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're going to stand over here in front of the mirror now. Try not to hold your hands out here because that'll pull your hmm. instrument. This helps the spinal muscles relax. Pretty tight right in there. Feel that? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you your homework. Okay. Your head's forward and right, so pull your shoulders up back like this. So these guys here. Translate left. Shift your pelvis straight right. Now look backwards. You're going to feel a little tap on your atlas there. And there now relax try this again see if this doesn't feel any easier with your neck yeah it does okay take a look you're not touching as much now 
still a little bit, but that's probably going to take a few adjustments to get that stabilized. Okay. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.